Hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Teresa Jackson the Cerebral Palsy Sketch Artist. I hope that everyone is having a good day. As always, I am going to start with a quick update about what I have been up to since the last time, and to let you know if there is any news or new ideas that I am thinking about doing. So, for the last week or two I have been busy preparing for an art session that I am running for a parent and children hub in my local area. I will be running this session for six weeks every Saturday afternoon from the 10th of June. So, I am currently preparing outlines, handouts and much more, but I have not done it all yet. Hence why I have been working on this every day and have not had time to record for my YouTube channel. Also, I am still waiting on the meeting for my art fundraiser which takes place later this month, so I am very excited about that. So, I will update you all as soon as I know more. Moving on to plans for future content. I have been thinking of what to do for future content, and I have some ideas on what to base them around. One is awareness on diabetes because I have diabetes and I know it can be hard to get information that is straightforward to understand especially on YouTube. The second one is talking and learning about other types of disabilities because I feel that we can gain a lot more knowledge on different disabilities, some people might be interested, I know I am extremely interested. The third is what life is like living in support living, resident homes and care homes because I lived in a lot over the years. And I would like to share what it is like and my experience so far. So, let's get into today's video. Today we are going to talk about cerebral palsy in teenagers and young adults. Many people who have cerebral palsy will talk about that it would be very useful to have information on cerebral palsy for young people because they are tired and finding it difficult for having to explain it themselves every time. Now, I have found some facts about cerebral palsy that I can share with you all. And they are, in the UK, about 150 children are diagnosed with CP every month. People with CP have it all their lives. CP is caused by an injury to the brain. The brain injury does not get worse, but the effects may increase with age. Next is your brain. The injury to the brain will normally occur when it is developing. This happens from birth till the age of five years old. When a brain is damaged, the messages that it sends to different parts of your body gets mixed up or lost. This may affect movement, learning, speaking and every way of the way the body works. Moving on to the body. Some people might use a wheelchair like me or other equipment to help them move around. However, with cerebral palsy it can be harder to judge where steps and spaces start and finish. And therefore, people may become more emotional and panic more than others or even find it extremely difficult to relax and switch off. Your muscles. The muscles in your body must work harder, and therefore people may become tired more easily. The pain and spasms in the body could disturb your sleep. This can also affect speaking, chewing and swallowing more difficult. Some people may dribble or may need their food pureed. Talking. Talking can be difficult because muscles in the throat can be affected. Some people use a communication aid to help them speak. This means they may need more time to respond. If you do not understand, it's okay to ask someone to repeat what they are saying. Learning. Around a third of people with CP find things difficult to understand. It can make it harder for sensory information, 
like light or sound, to get to the brain, and it can make abstract ideas like letters and numbers trickier. That's all for today, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Join me next time as I talk about my art fundraiser idea. See you all soon. Hi everyone.